Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Everyone's face was looking at me. I saw fear take a hold of everyone in that theater. I just want to do what I'm supposed to do to make sure that everyone comes through this okay. And I want it to fix me too. I see a room full of my friends, knows I'm me. I love you all the time. You know, I feel that context is everything. And um, really, I think for people to understand what the events were at the Bataclan as well as the return concert, it would be important to understand what the relationships were amongst the band and, and amongst their relationship with their fans. And um, really, I think all of that just came from a, a more of a gut instinct and just knowing Jesse and Josh the way that I do, as well as, you know, Davey and, and, and McJunkins and, and, and the rest of the guys in, in the group. And really, I just wanted to be able to sort of show them as the, the guys that I know that are fun, lighthearted guys that care about each other a great deal. And if people were able to see that, then maybe they'd be able to see the events of the Bataclan and the return show, maybe perhaps through a different lens. And I think that's, you know, I, I think that's, um, they should, you know, because things are complex, things are difficult. And um, when you have that perspective, I think it gives you a better understanding of what other human human beings have gone through. So I have to commend you guys the bravery that it took to be able to put your story out there. What was this experience like and why why did you guys decide to go ahead and proceed? Well because it was Colin. I mean Joshua rightfully in the beginning tried to talk Colin out of it because as he says we love him and this isn't the thing you want to be involved in but it, it couldn't have been anyone but Colin. And, and it had to be someone who has a similar heart to us and who's, and it, it was Colin, you know. Um, it had to be done. Yeah, no one else could have made this. I don't think we would have allowed it. No way. And when I say I don't think, I mean no one, we wouldn't have allowed it. Uh, and uh, I don't know why he did that. He didn't, this was something that you would want to stay away from if you weren't involved in any way, which is what I told him to do. But he did it anyways and I think, I don't know, I still, I don't know why he did that. And so. Um, Kind. So I'm really thankful. Well, I think it's something that we saw one, after the attack. I've ne I've seen nothing but the most united effort of sincerity in the entertainment world, which is the rarest thing you're ever going to see in your life. And I, everyone, everyone that I've encountered wants to help and do the right thing. And, and Colin is a good. He's a great man. He's a wonderful father, a wonderful husband, and a wonderful friend. And uh, he cares. He cares about the right things. From what I understand, obviously, you know, this documentary does focus on the attacks and what happened, but ultimately what came out in the story was a friendship and that journey of that relationship and ultimately where that where that story led you guys to. I mean, obviously, I don't think that was initially where the starting point was. No, I don't think it was. Well, I mean, to get us sort of eased into the interviews, he was like, so where'd you guys meet? And I was so desperate to talk about anything else. So I said, oh, we met, okay, well, it made it easy to talk about knowing each other and what it means. And uh, I guess I never really thought about our relationship because I'm not, I don't, I'm not very nostalgic. You guys have been friends a very long time. Yeah, and we've been through a lot of stuff that maybe, I don't know, prepared us. I don't, I have no, I have no idea. All I know is we went through this together and I was like a worried mother. Like, I, I, so I, uh, and I think one of the main things is that we don't try to change each other. We've always just accepted each other, and that's how it's allowed us to be there for each other. So, For me, I, I never had many friends in high school, and uh, Joshua has been the most enduring and, and best friend I've ever had. And, and once this took place and we were in the process of getting through it, I mean, there's always hypotheticals, but I, I personally ne needed Joshua. I needed my friends. I needed... I needed everything that I got, and 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 I got it in a bounty, so to speak. So, you know, for me personally, this has been a journey of being uh, reminded of how fortunate and how blessed I really am. 
and how lucky I am. This is the luckiest job in the world. Rock and roll is the greatest thing that I've ever experienced in my life, and I love it. And I'm not going to let anyone take it from me. And I'm very lucky that I have the sort of friends who will stand with me and, and uh, help me face up the bully, you know? Well, before I let you guys go, I have to ask, how is the music going to progress from here? It's going to be even hornier. <laughs> the music is guaranteed to be at least 11 times hornier the first two days. I mean, I, I, I'm not an accountant, but I think it's more like 15 times yeah. hornier, so. Yeah, we're a little fuzzy on the math. Yeah. Uh, this is Joshua. And this is Boots Electric, and you've just been buzz. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go out to the band where we like, we've been in the gate of black.